It has been a few weeks since the BL Heli 32 situation kicked off and looking around online there is a lot of people confused about what the situation is today. I've seen a lot of questions from people such as can I still update my firmware, can I use the ESC, can I adjust its settings, is it even safe to use and should I migrate to another firmware. What I'm going to do today is try and answer all of these questions, I'm going to try and keep it nice and simple and hopefully by the end of it you will know what the situation is. Okay, now just to quickly explain what the situation is first of all. The company called BL Heli, who are behind BL Heli, BL Heli S and BL Heli 32 firmware for ESCs, has ceased trading. They are no more. They are no longer providing updates, no longer providing development for their ESC firmware. BL Heli is a very old firmware which has been out of development for a very long time and that really does not affect anyone. BL Heli S is an open source firmware that BL Heli developed that they ceased updating in about 2019. However, that is still widely used, but it has been out of development for quite some time. And then you have BL Heli 32, which has been their closed source firmware, which has been in development since around 2017, and that has now stopped. There will be no more updates for BL Heli 32, no more changes and you can no longer update the firmware on your ESC. Now there is something you do need to understand about ESCs before we move on and that is that there are two different types. You have 8-bit ESCs and 32-bit ESCs. BL Heli S is designed to be used on 8-bit ESCs and BL Heli 32 is designed for 32-bit ESCs. The two are not compatible. You can only use BL Heli S on a 8-bit ESC and you can only use BL Heli 32 on a 32-bit ESC. Alongside the BL Heli firmwares, there are also other firmwares out there for both 8-bit and 32-bit ESCs as well. For instance, in the 8-bit camp, you have BlueJay. Whilst I did say that BL Heli S stopped development in 2019, BlueJay is a fork of BL Heli S that has continued the development up to today. However, it is only compatible with 8-bit ESCs. On the 32-bit side of things, we obviously had BL Heli 32, but there is also AM32 that is designed to be used on 32-bit ESCs as well. AM32 is an open source project that has been developing its own firmware for ESCs. It is not based on BL Heli 32. It's its own entire new software development. One key thing that you do need to understand, as I've mentioned already, you can only use BL Heli S or BlueJ, for instance, on 8-bit ESCs, and you can only use BL Heli 32 and AM32 on 32-bit ESCs. You cannot use BL Heli S or BlueJ on a 32-bit ESC. Now, one of the questions you may have is, how can I tell what ESC I have? Which one is 8-bit and BL Heli S or BlueJ, and which one is BL Heli 32? Well, sometimes you can tell externally, but a lot of time, the easiest way to find out is simply plug it in via pass-through, then try to connect either via the BL Heli configurator or connect via the ESC configurator for BlueJ and BL Heli S. Now, if we look over these, the differences are as follows. So a 32-bit ESC like this one here from T-Motor will be fitted with either the STM32 series of chipset or AT32 series of chipset. Now, it's not easy to show you here under the camera, but if I zoom in, you can see the chipset on these is AT32. 32-bit, which means that ESC is going to be running BL Heli 32, and in the future, AM32. When it comes then to looking at 8-bit ESCs, it will look very similar. Sometimes you will find they'll print on it something to hint. So if you look at this one, it ends in BS, which means it is actually running BL Heli S. But if we flip it over and look at the main ICs, these are actually Syllabs Busy B ICs, and they'll be labelled BB1 or BB2. If your ESC has a chip labeled BB1 or BB2, that is an 8-bit ESC, so that either be running BL Heli S or BlueJ, whereas your 32-bit ESC is going to be BL Heli 32 or, in future, AM32. Now, as I've mentioned, BL Heli as a business has ceased trading. They will no longer be providing firmware updates or support or any development for BL Heli 32. So, where does that leave you if you have a BL Heli 32 based ESC? Well, that's actually very simple. Your ESC still works today as it did before. You can still use your ESC. You can still configure your ESC via the BL Heli configurator. 
all of the options and features work exactly the same as it did before. Your ESC has not stopped working. There is no need to do anything other than use your ESC as you would have in the past. What you cannot do today is update the firmware on your ESC. Your ESC is configured via BL Heli Configurator and that is still available to download. I will actually also host that on my FPV wiki as well. However, whilst you can do the configuration, the ESC Configurator will no longer connect to the servers because they're no longer online. And as such, you cannot update the firmware. But other than that, your ESC will work absolutely fine. Now, with regards to firmware updates and safety, there is a lot of confusion. You may have seen posts around saying, unless you update the firmware, your ESC isn't safe. But the fact of the matter is, that isn't true. In the last release of BL Heli 32, which was 32.10, there were some additional safety features added to try and prevent uncommanded spin-ups. In 32.9, there were reports of people having their motors kick in upon plugging in their battery. However, there wasn't really enough specific data found, as I understand it, to pinpoint one major bug or one major issue. They did, though, find a couple of scenarios that could lead to this happening if the ESC incorrectly detected the input type from the flight controller. There was the work done by both the BL Heli 32 and Beat the Flight devs to reduce the possibility of this happening in the future. But again, just because there were improvements added to 32.10 does not mean 32.9 is specifically dangerous and you should not fly it. My personal fleet is predominantly on BL Heli 32.9 because I was usually too lazy to update it and I've never seen an issue. And whilst I can never say you won't see an issue, in my opinion and the overall consensus is BL Heli 32.9 is no more dangerous than BL Heli 32.10. It's just 0.10 had some additional safety features. If you have 32.10 on your ESC, brilliant. But if you have 32.9 or earlier, I wouldn't specifically worry. I would just say take all of the safety precautions you can as you would with any FPV drone. We are putting our hands into the danger zone when we are powering up a quad. And as a result of that, you should always take care to the position of your fingers. You can't always protect yourself, but do what you can regardless of the firmware. BL Heli 32.10 is no good reason to think you're safe. All ESC firmware can have bugs, and as a result of that, take safety into your own hands. But the key message here is there is no reason not to use BL Heli 32.9. Now, whilst there's not really anything safety critical, there are some bugs in 32.9 and earlier that are annoying. For instance, for racing use, there's a bug in 32.9 which stops you rearming the ESC in the event of a crash. As a result of that, you have to actually power cycle the quad, which means you've got to walk to the field and get it. They did fix this in 32.95 and then subsequently 32.10. 10. Whilst most races with existing quads will have this fixed, this is a bit of a problem for them because they can't flash their new ESCs that they may already have or ESCs they want to buy with BL Heli 32 because they are still available today to fix this issue. But other than that, from a general FPV point of view, there's no major problems. Now, the final big question you probably have is, should I just flash my BL Heli 32 ESC to AM32? And whilst in the ideal world that would be great, reality is no. BL Heli 32 is dead, but there is no good reason not to use it today. AM32 is the future, but there is no easy migration path from BL Heli 32 to AM32. This isn't because of the AM32 devs are lazy or they don't want you to do it. It is simply because BL Heli 32 has a locked bootloader and as a result of that, you cannot flash it via USB. With the likes of BL Heli S ESCs, you can flash them with BlueJ nice and easily because the bootloader is unlocked and you can simply do it via pass-through. But unfortunately, on BL Heli 32, that isn't the case. To flash your ESC to AM32, you would have to have a device such as an ST-Link. You would have to connect up to pads on the ESC. You would then need to flash the specific bootloader for your MCU. And then you'll need to figure out some of the pads for the microcontrollers to where they connect and then flash the firmware. There are some 
ESCs in AM32 that do have targets, but it isn't remotely the same amount as there were for BL Heli 32 today. And if there isn't a target for your ESC already, you're going to have to do it from scratch. And as a result of that, you are going to be the alpha tester for that ESC. And the reality is today, whilst AM32 is looking really good, it is just not worth the hassle. There is also the risk of bricking the ESC as well, because there is no way to flash it back to BL Heli 32 if it fails. So, with regards to your existing ESC, just don't worry about it, just continue to use it as it is. And if you are interested in checking out AM32, I would suggest buying one of the ESCs that come with it from the factory. Skystars already sell ESCs with AM32 on board, and you're likely to see them from many other manufacturers over the coming weeks and months. But here and now, there is no good reason to replace BL Heli 32, and it isn't as easy as just plug and play like it is on the likes of BL Heli S to Blue Jay. So, to summarise, your ESC today works exactly the same as it did before. There is no good reason not to use it. There is no good reason to try and update the firmware to AM32. And BL Heli 32 on any version before 32.10 is not unsafe. Most people are flying older versions. Continue as you are. If you want to dabble in AM32, go and buy one that has been pre-flashed. Now, I hope the information in this video has been useful. If it has, please do let me know below. I will put a link to the BL Heli configurator below as well on my FPV wiki. If you'd like to support the channel to allow us to keep making content like this in the future, please do consider checking out the link to my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee. We would not be able to keep making content on this channel without your support. I want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons. If you'd like to support us in the future, please do consider checking it out. Anyway, that's it. Enjoy your flying, stay safe, and I will speak to you soon.